Hello and welcome on Watches TV. Uh, we are here in the Cercle des Horlogers. Not Cercle, no, Carré, not Cercle. It's a, and it's, but well, a Cercle, cercle is for you. The it's, maker yeah. and of our watches. And it's weird. Cercle, a circle is all about you, actually. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So you just remind me something quite amusing is that uh, we made the first interview, I mean, his very first interview only three years ago at Baselworld in the incubator section. And look where you are now. Isn't that a fantastic journey in such a short time? It is indeed. And, uh, and uh, thanks for coming by. We had this, uh, remember, we had this very small booth, a uh, small white horrible table, one meters large. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, three years ago, we, we met uh, a little bit of a journey, the start of a journey, but uh, very, uh, very excited to be at uh, Watches and Wonders this year uh, and uh, with a few novelties. So. so I was mentioning indeed the, the, the circle being a little bit in that, at the base of your uh, design code. Uh, but this year, you kind of exploded that circle and come up with some really interesting uh, timepiece, I think, really design wise. Nice. Thank you. So now, indeed, what we're doing is that uh, I took the, the initial Trilob idea, which was this uh, Le Matino collection, whereby you have these three rotating discs, three rotating circles, uh, eccentric, that, that move, and with the indicator of time, the Trilob, which is fixed. And what I did is that I, I removed the dial, exploded everything, and put that under a giant dome, and, and you have just a complete flying saucer there and it's it's just amazing to 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 look at a uh, lot of difficulties there as well because um, uh, the higher you are the lighter you need to be so mm -hmm. we switch to titanium so everything is in titanium in this watch the case of course but the the the, the, the rings themselves as well uh, with all the difficulties linked to titanium to manufacture so you know very hard to polish especially on that scale it's very tiny so we had a lot of difficulties and it catches fire and and it's funny because you know when the people who manufacture titanium tell you yeah sometimes it catches fire but we manage it or production for the prototype the machine caught fire and completely burnt <laughs> actually so it does happen okay. uh, but the result is uh, i think uh, quite cool you were mentioning that it requires maybe a little bit more energy to move or uh, to move these discs depending on the height Explain us uh, why so. Uh, the thing is that the, the effect you have is that the, the higher you are, the, you are, sorry, the higher torque effect you will have if you have a movement on it. So the lighter you need to be because if you have too much torque, the, the rings will just disassemble from the movement. So that's why we switch from classical, um, you know, brass steel that you, you, you would usually use to titanium. So, so far, how has been the response to this uh, new launch? Uh, very very excited very exciting actually because uh, we had a yeah, crazy response i think crazy feedback from all the markets uh, and, and people are really yeah really amazed i think by the by the move we're making from one collection to another and, and so very positive for us yeah okay and you still have uh, fresh ideas for the future we have uh, several years of uh, collection under development already so we'll be coming with more surprises in the future that's for sure well, great. Very happy for you. Congratulations and best of luck for everything. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks. See you guys. Thanks for watching.